right, so tell us about this beautiful thing, Mark. I believe this 10 years ago. 10 years ago, yes. Yeah. So um, I always wanted a splitty, and I bought this in Adelaide, seven and a half grand. But right. it, was, it was a wreck. Right. And the thing that the guy didn't tell me was it had a crushed roof. Oh. So even this whole B pillar here was all crushed in. And in the photos, he didn't show it, right? So I got it home and I go, oh, I gotta get a whole new roof. So we, we put a whole new roof on it. This whole um, B pillar, yeah. So it was a lot of work. Um, we had to reline up. I had to get another barn door, reline that up. Um, and in its lifetime, it was every single one of these colors. So it was originally the blue. This is the, I think it's called the Golf VW Blue. Um, and then someone painted it red. It was white in its lifetime. And the front, which was cut here from the A pillars down to here, was a whole new front, which Y64 has the bullet indicators because normally it's the fisheye ones. Right, okay. Um, so they put an earlier 60, 62 front on it. Yeah. So everyone was confused. Oh, was this, a, you know, 63, 64? But no, that's white. And that front was a yellow. So well, I actually got the inspiration for the paint job out of an old brochure. I thought, oh, I love that. I want it, I want it loud. I want it out there. I want it 60s. Yep. So it's kind of like a surfboard type feel. Um, so kept with the, the red, blue and yellow, white theme. There's an original service book. Lisa made me this cushion and um, kind of goes really well. I got an original radio for it. So that's one thing I love is like an uncut dash. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So I'll turn these lights on. And then we can have a look inside the back. <clears throat> yeah, I just went for plain, plain door trims. And uh, the speakers, I put front of uh, old radios for their covers. Just instead of just old school. Yeah, Beautiful. just old school. You know, I love the 60s, so I did a bit of a mural of everyone in there. All my favourites, the Rolling Stones, um, Batman and Robin, Beach Boys, Beatles down the bottom, Hendrix, uh, Marilyn, Elvis. Spider-Man, all the cartoons we used to watch when we were kids. Lovely. Yeah. Actually, looking at that brings back a lot of my childhood memories too. Yeah. Yeah. And VW Upside Down, these are my initials, Mark so Andrew. So it is. There you go. Yeah, which I actually put the, oh, yes. put the line through yeah. there. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> but um, I got some old, this is old 60s fabric I put on there because I did all the roof lining and um, just sort of... Um, yeah, just did some padding on the back there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I love how it's all set up. It's like it's on a on display all the time. Yeah, it's sort of um, you know take it to shows. It's won a couple of awards, but yeah, uh, you know I, I I did the the uh, the floor. The timber looks lovely. Yeah. And so, how did you get the age look on it? Yeah, just. Um, just yeah basically just with a brush you know just um, getting that distressed look and mm. i bought this from venice beach in california one of my trips and and uh, embedded it in there beautiful very nice thanks mate oh my god what an incredible volkswagen combi that mark has restored there i'm absolutely in love with it uh one day one day i'll have one similar i hope now, if you'd like to check out Mark and Lisa's full interview, check it out right here. If you'd like to see Lisa's Volkswagen Combi, check it out there. And also, if you'd like to see Mark's other cars, his Cadillac and his other car collection, it'll be right here. Throttle on, stay safe. I'll see you on the next video.